New tonight, if you got a speeding ticket from the city of Albuquerque in the mail, and it didn't really seem right, maybe rose some uh, red flags for you, you're definitely not alone. Brianna Wilson spoke with a woman who thought she was getting scammed, but turns out that wasn't the case. A New Mexico woman reacted as most would when she received an Albuquerque speeding ticket from an address in Florida. So that's kind of what threw me off is Orlando, Florida. When I opened it, it was showing my vehicle and the date. And the location where the camera captured Kimberly's van in the southbound lanes of San Mateo. Obviously my van, you know, but when I have to pay for the ticket, that's where I kind of, you know, was uncomfortable because it asked for a lot of information. Like I've never paid for anything where it's asking for my routing number. That's kind of just where it if I felt like it was a scam. Despite an odd link, out-of-state mailing address, and a few other red flags Kimberly says caught her attention, her ticket is legit. It was sent by Navoa Global, a third-party company used by the city of Albuquerque for its automated speed enforcement program. And they are based out of Florida, and so they also assist us with the uh, paying of the citations and that entire system of uh, and arm of the programs. Obviously, I completely understand that people are skeptical. According to the city, only 52% of tickets have actually been paid since speed cams went live in May. Officials say it's possible the out of state address on tickets is confusing people. I think that education is a big part of this program as well as we. You know, like I said, we're in the trial phase of this program. And as we While the city makes improvements to the program over time, something that will not change. Neither us here at the city or the folks in the boat bubble will call you for your, your information or ask you to pay over the phone. So level, that likely is a scam. The city encourages those who are wary of paying online or by phone to pay in person at City Hall. Can't do that if I live three and a half hours away. Otherwise, I'd be paying to go to Albuquerque to pay in person along with the gas. For people like Kimberly who don't live in Albuquerque, make sure you use the secure online portal at zerofatality.com. You can also mail in a check or a money order to the Florida address on your ticket. Brianna Wilson, KOB4. And the city of Albuquerque says you can also call 311 if you want to talk to a real live person who can help guide you in the right direction. We'll post a link with more information on speed camera tickets and how to pay them on KOB.com.